All right, a lot of times, folks, dogs like this sweet little baby here brought into a shelter injured. Sometimes a major surgery is needed. The Santa Fe Animal Shelter and Humane Society veterinarians perform the surgeries that they have to to get these puppies back on their paws so they can get into a loving home. Take a look. Watch. Come over here. Oh, there you go. Nickel had been hit by a car here in town. He had a lot of injuries, head trauma, and he had a nerve damage to one of his front legs. He also was very matted and dirty. And he had a lot of weeds and burrs stuck in his coat. He had a broken jaw. He was a mess. First, we treated him for shock. He was on fluids, he was on pain medications, antibiotics. It's kind of a common injury in dogs that get hit by a car where uh, the armpit gets overextended and it tears the nerve in the armpit and that's what happened to him and so we went ahead and amputated the leg. We wired his jaw and shaved uh, his matted fur. He is a completely transformed dog. The jaw is healing really well, just a very energetic, sweet, loving, little jump in your arms kind of dog. He's, he's a great little guy. Diva came to us dirty, matted. She also had an old fracture of a femur, and it had been fractured and never properly taken care of. She had the option of having to have a chronically painful leg or having that leg removed and so that it's no longer painful. We amputated her right rear leg. Just a couple of weeks after her surgery, she's completely healed and she's like a whole new dog, really active, really inquisitive, really friendly towards everyone. <laughs> when Riley arrived, he was the most pathetic looking thing you've ever seen. Very matted. He had an old dislocated hip. We had to do a procedure called a femoral head osteotomy. If you think about a ball and socket joint, it's removing the ball part of that joint. Riley also goes to bounce back therapy with Dr. Sue McKelvey. So we are really fortunate to have our relationship with Bounce Back. It's a physical rehabilitation center for animals. The exercises that she does uh, can really help retrain the mind to start using a leg that they haven't been using for a while. It's looking really good for him. He is doing very well. He has really progressed very quickly. He's running around on it. He likes to sit on your lap. He is one of the sweetest fosters I have. This is a pretty amazing shelter that, that we can do some of the things that we do. I mean, many, many shelters can't even take x-rays. And it takes uh, the support of everyone. It takes you know small private donations, big private donations, just community support to come out and foster these animals and then eventually adopt these animals. Did you see yourself on TV? That was you up there. <laughs> Joining us now is Erica Beckwith from the Santa Fe Animal Shelter and Humane Society and volunteer Stephen Winland. Guys, thank you for coming in. Such important work that you guys do. So tell us a little bit about these pets. Of course, they were in the video, these little movie stars. Um, we saw some of their injuries, but um, tell us a little bit about their journey and where they go from here. Okay, so this is Nickel. As you saw, he's a pretty young puppy guy, and he was found with terrible injuries. He was hit yeah. by a car, he had broken his jaw, his, you know, we tried to save his leg, but, you know, we couldn't. Yeah. It was just too bad. So, but it was a couple of weeks ago when he lost his leg. Mm -hmm. Again, he doesn't care, just doesn't like our dog care. last month. He's yeah. doing great. So his bandage will come off Friday and he'll be available for adoption on Friday. Okay. And um, uh, behavior-wise, he is just amazing. Oh, He's sweet so dog. sweet and his personality is great. And this is Riley, who mm. I just met to him asleep. today and he is precious. I already yeah. love him. And yeah. He's just mellow, and he's about two years old, we mm -hmm. think, and um, he, he has all four legs, but he had his ball joint removed, right. and he doesn't use his leg all the way, but he's not feeling any pain, so okay. at least there's That's that. Good. And then and Diva, Diva, she's Hi. about four years old, we think, and mm -hmm. she's lost her right uh, rear leg, mm -hmm. and uh, also she doesn't care. Yeah, she had an old in injury. and Yeah, you can see in the video, time. I mean, she just goes after <laughs> the balls chases around. So this is yeah. a big year for you guys, 75 mm -hmm. years of bringing yeah. people and animals together. Um, so uh, I know, not to sound like Bob Barker here, <laughs> but you guys very big on spaying, neutering our animals, really controlling the overpopulation. It's so important. So that we, we don't really have to see these guys in, mm -hmm. in shelters. That's really what we're working for. And that's exactly. a big initiative for you guys. Yes, we've got a couple of programs. We've got something called Beat the Heat. For a $20 copay, you can have your female cat spayed. Um, it's so important. We have so many kittens come in over the spring and summer, mm -hmm. and you know we don't need that suffering. They don't need that. Just mm -hmm. spay them, neuter them, you know. And then for mixed breed dogs in Santa Fe City and County, for twenty dollars, any mixed breed dog, or sorry, ten dollars, mm -hmm. any mixed breed dog can be spayed or neutered. Okay. Again, we have, you know, our shelters are so overpopulated. Yeah. Yeah. Just get them you neutered. also you're you're really pushing to license pets because that can really keep you know if our dogs get away they jump a fence mm -hmm. or whatnot. 
if they're licensed, it can really keep them out of the shelter. We can That's get them right. right back to their own. They don't even need to step foot in yeah. the shelter. As long, we've got a license. We can call you, get them mm -hmm. home. And who doesn't want their dogs back yeah, quickly, absolutely. as quick as possible? Especially when, like, you diva. That's you right. Sweet. Well, Steve, just really quick, i got to ask you, what does it do for you to volunteer for this organization and help these animals? It's, it's got to really bring some warmth to your heart. It does, yeah. I like animals, and uh, I'm a Canadian graduate student. Okay. Uh, and I had to leave my cat in Canada. Oh, wow. So it was for selfish reasons initially. <laughs> sure. But, hey, uh, whatever does it. <laughs> I'm glad to help you. Yeah, yeah well, we're, we're really glad that you do it as well. These animals, I, I don't even want to think what would happen if they didn't have you guys. So Thank you. we will have links on our website, folks, to Santa Fe uh, Humane and uh, more information about Diva and her friends. I don't know. I think my dogs would be jealous if I brought you home. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so cute. Yes, you are. All right, folks, stick around. When we come back.